All the haters want to say Brock Purdy's a game manager. I personally think the boy's a leader. A leader. For six, go. it continues. It does. Hopefully, Hopefully we can pull it out this time. <laughs> yes, right? sir. After going 0 and 2, third time's the charm. We're gonna do what we do. This is the Happy Hour Show, Bay Area, Mikey Slacks. Stradi. Woo, Niners Man. back again, baby. Back, Mikey. Uh. Oh, can we pull it <laughs> off, though? That's Man. the question. They have all the pieces in place. Absolutely. That draft class from 2017. Woo. Kittle, 2018. Man. Warner, 2019. Shh. Bosa, Debo. Run it, Mike. Who you came know, after that? Uh, I mean, when Jed York was feeling all the heat from the Niner faithful, you know, yes. after after getting rid of Harbaugh, he chose Trent Baalke's side, which was a horrible move, and right, then ended up ended up <laughs> kicking him to the curb. You know, Jed York was really feeling the heat from the Niner faithful, and he himself did himself a favor by making those moves going out and getting John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan, and ever since then, man, their we draft class. Good. It has been incredible. You know, yeah. talk about a team being built through the draft. Uh, man, say it, Mike. I mean, the <clears throat> list goes on. Ayuk. Oh, man, yeah. Huff. Uh, I mean. All pro Fred. Right. Man. In you know, and then and get it right. here and there, go and pick up a couple couple little pieces, but then uh, every now and then you get lucky with a man. big piece. Final <laughs> oh, mouth. CMC, baby. Drive, can you agree? CMC, the best pickup, mid season pickup the Niners made since Neon Dion? Prime time. Facts. <sighs> 
That and was, it was a, a move that needed move. to be made. <laughs> oh, yeah, and here definitely. we are. I'm glad that he got the Offensive Player of the Year award. Oh, uh, most definitely. I mean, since week one, he's been out the gate. Yeah. Putting exactly. in work. And now all the pieces are coming together from our defense to the coaching. I mean, the most important piece of all, Mr. Relevant, <laughs> our QB, number one. The CMC move actually, I think, is better than the Deion Sanders move because Deion, that was just pretty much a half a season rental. And we're run, one and done <laughs> to go to the Cowboys and win it the following year. Exactly, so right, but yeah. CMC, you know, he's back in the Bay Area where his father played and where he went to college. Full circle and could yes, possibly be the second sir. father and son tandem to go ahead and pull that Super Bowl win out. Oh, uh, most definitely. You know, and to speak on that, the twist with that with Kyle and his father, you oh, know, yeah. Christian and his father, Greasy and Lynn. I mean, Woo, man. if there was ever a year for us to win it, this has to be the year. <laughs> I mean, what else could you ask for? Uh, for those of you that may not know what Dradi just spoke about, uh, back when Kyle's father, Mike Shanahan, was the head coach of the Denver Broncos, they won their Super Bowl with Christian McCaffrey's father, Ed McCaffrey, as a wide receiver on the Denver Broncos. Brian Greasy was a quarterback on that team who is the 49ers quarterback coach right now, and Anthony Sweet. Lynn, Lynn who was a running back on that team, is the assistant head coach and the running backs coach for the 49ers right now. Presently. Man, and what about that catch by Ayuk <laughs> in the championship game? Oh, save us. Steps into one, watching deep, going for Brandon Ayuk, it is. Oh, he caught it off the ricochet. Penalty, is he in? It hit him right in the face mask. And then, man, give credit there to Brandon Ayuk just staying with the play. And, <laughs> and to not get number one of the top ten. Hey, talk about focus, though, and he not was, giving up on the nah, play. He's all the way through. He saw it, got it. And I got to mention that Jennings catch was special, too. Dirty. Thinking about running for it. Not going to get there. Back across his body. Oh, one-handed catch to Juan Jennings. Most definitely. Right? Up the middle. Boom. Yeah, the one Kept that play and that drive going. Yeah. yeah. See, people want to talk about, oh, they got lucky, they got lucky. But hey, folks, luck is a part of sports sometimes. And sometimes <laughs> you're on the winning side. Exactly. With that said, the favorite bet of the Super Bowl, has or Tails, what you taking? Oh, man, you know, Tails never fails, baby. Never fails, baby. <laughs> Keep it. Another crazy line that I heard was, Kyle Uzcheck not getting more than three and a half yards. I think that's a popular prop bet right oh. now in the Super Bowl. Um, the Niners also scoring on their first drive. I believe they did it 10 times during the regular season yeah. and have yet to do it during the playoffs. So I want to believe true. everything is coming full circle for us to go and get that Super Bowl. Bring Ooh. it home. It's time for us to celebrate. Oh, yeah. Man, what about them calling my man Brock Purdy a game <sighs> manager? Possibly the second coming in Joe Montana with a spice <sighs> of Steve Young. Let's Ooh. go. I think we got us a franchise quarterback. I see a big bag around the corner for the dog. Now let's get this bowl. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's our year, baby. Six. Yes. Overdue. Three decades in the making. Man, that Lions game, it was looking pretty tough in the first half. But, you know, they definitely made the adjustments to come out in the second half. They uh, did. I think, like you touched on earlier, that Jennings catch, that was huge. Like they call him third and Jawan, man. He always comes up huge with those catches. And, and he really does, you know. And I, But I, what I want to say that I, people are probably not touching on as much as they should is the way that Campbell coaches the game and being so aggressive where they should have maybe gone for that field goal. And those three points would have paid dividends back towards the tail of the game. No doubt. But no let's doubt. not forget to talk about when we were watching the game and we spoke about it going into the half with the score being a particular score that happened oh, yeah. a long time ago when the story was reversed yeah. and the Lions got the win in Kizar. Exactly. So at that moment, I wanted to believe that the <laughs> script was in our favor and that we might be due for that NFC Championship that's eluded us for the last two seasons. Another player who made a huge play, whose wife has been getting a lot of uh, publicity. Yes, we got to give her props. Use check. He made the toe tap catch. Here's Purdy on first down. Late blitz coming. In trouble. Purdy stays up on his feet somehow and now throws it and has a completion. 
How in the world did that work? Juszczyk kept the toes in. You know, Purdy eluded the sack. And one thing about Purdy, he eludes the sack. He doesn't automatically run. He's still looking for an open yes, receiver trying, to get it to. going through his progressions. He's and he had run. Juszczyk yeah. right on the sideline who made the tiptoe catch. Boom. Oh, my God. That was just this game. Kept it's... the drive alive. And our season alive. You oh, know? yeah, for I... sure. To be where we were, where we're coming in with a bye week, you know, and maybe caught a couple of little cobwebs. And, you know, Detroit Washington. had their momentum yeah, they coming did. into the game. Great team. We just got the win. They just whipped My on. Champ. They just whipped on Dallas. <laughs> Dallas, America's team, supposedly. It's the Niners, baby. That's America's <laughs> new team. Let's go. Let's go. We have a very special guest, live and direct, in the words of Dryde, hey. out there at Las Vegas at the Super Bowl NFL sure. Experience. Our good homie Mo Diggs, hey, along hey, with his daughter and good friend Christy. Oh, hi guys. Hey, there's Christy. <laughs> What's Niners. up? Go Niners! <laughs> uh, let us know what the atmosphere is looking like out there. We're at the uh, NFL Experience out here in Las Vegas, Nevada, at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center. You feel? Right on. It looks it looks amazing. I, I had to record this just for y'all. Man, we wish we were out there. Yeah, we're definitely missing <laughs> out. Hey, what's up, little mamas? We see you out there. So uh, being out there, um, what do you see? How many fans, how many more fans of one team or the other do you see out there? Is it mostly Chiefs Kingdom or is it mostly uh, Niner Faithful? You want me to keep it a hundred? There's hell of Niner fans out here, blood. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Y'all really heavy out here. The presence is definitely felt. The faithful, baby. You know what it is. We travel well. <laughs> That's what we like to hear. That's Niners, it. do it for the Bay. Do it for the Bay. <laughs> oh, they got the Madden bus, y'all. I see the Madden bus. Oh, damn. Check that out. Could you imagine that Madden bus? Uh, I'm out there taking the Niners. Let's go. Y'all ready for the Blue Lake Banjo? What? He said bootleg banjo. <laughs> 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 Damn. Oh man, it looks so much fun out there. The atmosphere looks lively. Like I'm sure people out there are having a blast. Really though, running those routes and that family experience looks first class. Oh, Gotta yeah. give it up to the NFL for this experience. Here go the countdown, y'all. Hey, Mo, Christy, your daughter, man. Thank you guys so much for taking the time <laughs> out and uh, spending it right here on the Happy Hour Show Bay Area. We appreciate you. Go appreciate enjoy the you. rest of your time there at the NFL Experience. Yay. One love. Go Niners, Christy. Let's get this bowl, baby. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Super Bowl. Uh, the Revenge Tour. They're back. These two teams just faced off four seasons ago. And George Kittle, one uh, famous clip was of George Kittle on the sidelines just speaking out loud, like, yeah. I will be back, and, and I will be it. back with a vengeance. I will be back here. I will be back here, and I will be back with a vengeance. And back he is. Yes, Allegiant sir. Major Stadium, let's go. Let's get that first Man. Super Bowl win out there. The I mean... The best tight end in the game. Uh, some yeah. will argue Arguably, that the yeah. other Playing best against. tight end is, yeah, Travis Kelsey. Right. Um, it should be a great matchup, man. Two teams. Um, I would say the cores are somewhat similar. Evenly matched. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. Niners have, I believe, 11 players uh, still on the team that were in that previous Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. What about uh, one good story, Charvarius Ward, the cornerback? Yeah, he, one and one with the Chiefs. He and played not with us, right? on the Chiefs and beat mm -hmm. the Niners. Now he's on the Niners, has a chance. They say he can make history. He can be the first player in NFL history to win a Super Bowl championship with one team and then be playing for the other team to beat his former team. Wow. No other player has ever done that. <laughs> yeah, because when you say something like that, what's the first thing that pops into your head? When Dion won it with us, won your rental, and then went and did it with Dallas the following year. <clears throat> yeah, but this is specifically one team that faced the other team. Right. And to, to come beat, back. Yeah. Because he was questioned, and he said he likes a little more here in San Francisco, so hopefully that'll carry over onto the field. Yes, sir. Right. And with that, too, let's talk about Pacheco and, and, and Purdy. 
two years ago when Pacheco was the 251st draft yeah. pick. Yeah. And Mr. Relevant, <laughs> who was our starting QB, was the last pick in the draft. Exactly. And now they're both yeah. in you know? the Super Bowl. And Pacheco has the experience because he won it last year with them. But true. I want to believe that the gods favor us this year. Man, so ever since Brady retired, uh, people are kind of saying Mahomes is the new GOAT. He gets the protection. He goes long and on his back to ice it. You know, he's already been, this is going to be his fourth Super Bowl that he's in. Which will only have him two behind Brady, so. Yeah. Man, he's already won the most playoff games uh, currently. He's entering his fourth Super Bowl. If he were to win, it was it would be his third Super Bowl championship. That's four behind Brady, but you know, in half the time, yeah, practically. And <laughs> less he is than half. the NFL's poster boy for where they want to take the league to. I mean, we got we got our work cut out for us. And then if that's not enough, they got this whole Swifty campaign with oh, Taylor. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Oh my. God. It all seems like a setup. <laughs> Hopefully, in our favor. It all seems you know, like a setup. Real quick though, we do kind of got a little twist too. Something I want to touch on real quick is why the spread is minus two Niners. And it might have something to do with the gentleman who played for us and won a Super Bowl and now will be on the other side as a zebra refing the game. <laughs> Hopefully you give us that advantage. We need to work. I think that's another thing. Yeah. That's, that's a first. That's another first. Yeah, I don't think any right. player uh, who ever played for a team and refereed, refereed in the Super Bowl. Mike, if I had to ask you, what would be the one player you see going off and just changing? Oh, uh, man, you know, I... I I can't change from what's been going on all season. I so got to go with CMC. 23. Got to go with CMC. I think it's been his year. He was the offensive player, player of, the of the year. year. And, I mean, he quite possibly could become the Super Bowl MVP. And Purdy, our leader, managing the game, executing the plays that Kyle calls, which I think is also an X factor. Oh, yeah, for and sure. And the way the defense steps up, huh? Oh, man. You know, speaking of Purdy, I don't understand all the hate. Usually people like an underdog story. When he came in midway last season, everyone was praising him. For some reason, right. at the beginning of this year as a starter, no one wants to give him his credit. Because it was easier to knock him than give him kudos for doing what he's doing yeah. with the offense that we have. Someone that did give him the credit, though, back to what we said yeah, earlier, the one-year rental, who? Mr. Deion Sanders. Mr. Primetime signed off on the kids. So you know, if anyone knows football, it's that great legend. This kid is the best story probably that's, that has been over two decades. Mm -hmm. Coming from what the last player taken to in the Super Bowl mm -hmm. and lead his team to the Super Bowl because of his play. I love this kid, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, shoot, I'm looking for a, block, a, a Brock Purdy. And oh. someone coming from a defensive standpoint. Exactly. Who Sitting back reads and quarterbacks. seeing and knowing what, what's actually going on and how he's executing, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. It's all about execution. Calling an audible, making the adjustments. I mean, come on, he's the truth, man. I can't believe people say, well, he has this and that. And which team doesn't have weapons? You know, of course, yeah. some teams have more than others, I mean, but the quarterback's job is to get the ball to those weapons, which Jimmy Garoppolo wasn't as capable of doing. Nah, he'd be taking a sack as opposed <laughs> to trying to get away from that to create a play, to get a touchdown. No doubt. I mean, we were up 10 in that game, and we didn't get the W. So hopefully it's a whole different story this game. What would you say the Niners defense has to look out most for from the Kansas City they offense? They have to lock up Kelsey. Take his favorite piece away from the puzzle. Even if it means they have to have Greenlaw on him on every down, whether he's lighting them up or making the play or picking one to take it back for that six you so want. <laughs> it has to start with him and also realizing that Mahomes isn't going to give up on a play. Oh, yeah. How many for times sure. have you seen him not have anywhere to go, yeah. about to get sacked, get out of the sack to scramble to go and pick up the yards they need for the first down and more? Definitely. The um, 49ers defensive line is going to have to have a huge game yeah. for sure. The front four needs, need, needs to make, I mean, Bosa did that, but we need everybody else. I want to see. You know what I'm Chase saying? Young. Chase yeah. Young needs Hard to get grade. in there. Like, yeah, they do. A lot of people are starting to critique him yeah. and, and what he's doing, but I want to believe that we're coming full circle to get a Super Bowl. Definitely. Fingers crossed, baby. Definitely. Let's go. So, Mike, if I had to ask you in reference to how you think Kyle's going to approach this game, what calls he's going to make? I mean, where do you think he should go and start? 
with all the weapons that you just mentioned that we have? I Arsenal. think Kyle needs to be a little more aggressive in the first half. You know, they can't come from behind the way they have no these way. past two postseason games. Not You're against playing this team. a seasoned veteran quarterback for one. Um, and, and a, a team season coach too. Can't that is just about Reed. coming oh, off of a Super Bowl victory. If they get behind by 17 points, you know, I won't say it's impossible, but it's going to be damn near close to impossible. Not the way we want this game to go. Oh, no. Yeah. No. Kyle's going to have to break out any tricks he has left in his bag and, you know, just punch him in the mouth early. Get that nice, good lead. Have a good cushion. But mm -hmm. even with the cushion, don't let up, Kyle. Please don't let up, man. Yeah. Keep Keep your foot on, on their throat. Let's go all the way through. <laughs> yeah, they definitely have to be aggressive. Uh, keep running the ball with CMC. Also run the ball with Debo. Get Debo's yeah. rushes in there. Mitchell as well. And just don't be predictable. Let's not be so scripted where we're getting away from the fact that we want to win a Super Bowl, not will our way through. Exactly. Know that you have Trent that can pull and yeah. open up this gap or go here. Like, kind of let's play off what they give us too and... and Utilize, Utilize every all the weapons that, we have. Yes. that you have. Throw the ball to Kittle. Throw the ball to IU. Use the ball on the screen. Exactly. Do it all. Yeah. Keep the defense on their toes. And get Kyle Uzcheck to get at least four yards on the carry so that prop back covers. <laughs> Need you. Well, the Niners are in the Super Bowl once again. Let's hope this time ends that quest for six and starts the quest for seven. Let's go. Trotty, this is Woo! the Happy Hour Show Bay Area. Mikey Slacks. Hey, this is Trotty. We'll see you when we do. Let's Get some bottles go. ready. We <laughs>